think for board diversity it's, it's quite important. There's a lot of people, effectively the, the working force, there aren't very many Gen Ys, Gen Xs uh, within that field and I think just for diversity, just getting some strategic leadership in that front, I think it's quite important. Organisations should embrace sorry, um, younger board directors so as to um, mentor the younger generation because we are the generation next and I think there's a lot that we can learn from um, the current board members. There was a, uh, a, one of the presenters the other week said that there, the one thing that we as the younger generation lacked was experience and I think that being, uh, coming in as new, as younger generation, sorry, young leaders or young board members would be able to learn from our predecessors and be able to then follow the sort of legacy. I think a benefit for organisations at least contemplating or taking on a young board member is one to ensure that there's a positive legacy passed down. All the corporate knowledge currently sits with the, the generation that are on boards, the over 50s or 55s. I think if they're going to look at it in terms of longevity, they need to pass the skill set down. And there are some things that the young people do provide. Um, young people bring energy, different ways of communicating, They've got vast networks, um, different kinds of networks, and um, bring lots of new ideas. Young board directors are people who come with fresh curiosity. Um, we come with questions that perhaps maybe have been asked before, but maybe should be asked again. We come with that, no limitations, because we haven't, uh, we don't know what's wrong or what's right. We just come with what we think is best for the industry. Well, I think that young people offer an uh, innovative and um, fresh approach. And I suppose with um, aged care, there's so many issues and problems and we need to think about approaching it in a different way and perhaps a young person can, can be there to, to drive that with their energy and passion. Well, um I always had interest for aged care because um, my biggest inspiration was my grandma. Um, all in my life, she was always the person who was next to me, who helped me and um, get through tough um, times in my life, really. And if whatever I needed to cry, um, she was always there for me. And therefore, I always had a huge respect um, for the elderly people. And um, I believe that in this country, there is a less respect for the older individuals that they should deserve because they have heaps of experience, life experience, um, which would be important to um, pass it on to the younger people. I have breakfast with my grandpa all the time, love hanging out with him. I volunteer with Brightwater and I also um, am also doing a gerontology elective this year and I just love the idea of um, planning for the future of what's going to be inevitable of ageing and getting that right. That's what I really want. Um, so I've worked in aged care for the last 10 years and I'm really passionate about making a difference. So it's been so inspiring being involved with this course and, and, um, and watching as others learn about the issues we face. As my interest, it's just about making an improvement to the lives of older adults. You know, they deserve it. I've been in aged care since coming to Perth in 2005, come from a disability sector. I just think aged care really needs some some youth and some energy to keep it going into the future. Uh, my interest in aged care is understanding, I suppose, the concerns that some of the, the ageing population is experiencing. Um, I'm also very aware that the ageing population is going to continue to grow. I think it's an area that we need to look at. Um, if we as young people are going to be supporting that in 20 years, I think we need to have a better understanding in terms of quality of care and what we can do to, I suppose, make that more viable for us, seeing as we'll be supporting that. Okay. Um, I work uh, in financial planning and I've, I've noticed that with an ageing population once again, effectively as more and more people retire I get worried about the economy as a whole and effectively, and effectively uh, whereabouts are we going to be pulling these resources from if, there's not, if there aren't young people with experience in these sectors, what is going to happen in 20, 30 years time? And I think there's a lot that we can learn from um, the people that have been here for a longer time than we have. And just being able to look after them at a little bit more than, like they've been able to look after us, so why not us look after them? And it's just something that hits home. And besides, the main thing is that we're going to get there at one stage. So why not sort of make the pathway for ourselves as well and make, you know, 
aged a little bit easier for ourselves as well. Belief. Uh, you really have to believe that young people have something to offer. To look at us and think that we haven't got anything to offer is to alienate us. So if you feel that we have something to offer, believe that. I think the biggest thing that, from my point of view that the sector needs is to at least get the information out there. Uh, from my research, just having been part of this uh, course so far, is that there are lots of agencies that require support, that they would like young people's point of view. It's just bringing those two elements together um, and interfacing the two. If we've got some interface management, I think both sides will be very happy. And then the young Encouragement from boards and CEOs to, to want us on the, on the boards and on the teams, want to hear our ideas and to make us feel safe and trust us. I think mentorship is really, really important. So it's about those um, those people in the profession that have got the, the skills and leadership qualities. It's about taking a younger person under their wing and, and sharing that with them um, and um, offering them opportunities, um, offer, offer, you know, providing leadership training um, and hearing their ideas.